everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing a mini review slash tutorial using the Anastasia times Nicole Guerrero palette um, this palette just recently launched I think it actually launched today because today is March 3rd but this video is probably gonna be up a little bit after that but I know it did launch um, on March 3rd and then it also launched a little bit earlier I want to say the 28th of February these are the shades inside of the palette and I absolutely love them I literally used every single shade that's in this palette on my face today I used them on different parts of my face I know this palette has definitely been very very hyped and I can see exactly why I personally am a fan of the Anastasia highlighters I do have the original that glow kit and the sweets glow kit um, which are two of my favorites and now I have this one which I absolutely love I was very hesitant because of the fact that I wanted to get the ultimate glow kit that came out during Christmas but I know it had like a lot of chunky glitter in almost every single shade and at least me I don't really like that in highlighters but this highlighter palette when you look at it it does have that glitter in there but it's very small micro glitters except for this shade here called daydream that one does have a little bit of chunkier glitter but as long as you're using it with a small brush you won't get glitter all over your face and it definitely melts in and just looks very very seamless and I definitely think these highlighters give you more of that wet shiny look versus that subtle highlight effect these are extremely metallic extremely pigmented and a little bit of it goes a very very long way so just to show you guys a few swatches of these highlighters on someone of tan skin tone just because it's something that I don't really see and I'm always looking for that personally so this first shade right here is called kitty cat you can see that shade here so this shade is kind of like a champagne color with a pink undertone to it the next shade in the palette is called forever young so this one is very similar to kitty cat but it is a little bit more on the silver side I would say I think it has more of a cool undertone while kitty cat has more of that warm undertone the next shade in the palette is called daydream so daydream is more of a peachy highlighter color it is something that is very unique I think the only color that I've ever seen like this is the crown of my canopy color from wet and wild but that one was more pink this one I think is a little bit more wearable and at least for me since I am more on the tan side it is a very very subtle highlight I did have to put another color on top of that highlight so that it can really pop and that's actually what I have on my cheekbones mixed with another color which I'll show you in a second the next color in the palette is called forever lit this one is a pure white highlight with that purpley blue iridescent in it and for my skin tone I don't think it will look good as a cheekbone highlight personally but I did use it in the inner corner and I really did like how that looked um, I'll probably mess around with it some more just to see if it would look good just kind of depending on what look I would do but I really like the fact that she included that in there because it has a pop of color so it kind of helps you to get out of your comfort zone the next color in the palette is called glow getter so glow getter is that typical champagne gold color that everybody is obsessed with this color is very similar to opal from Becca and it's also similar to whisper of guilt except the finish of this highlighter is definitely a little bit more metallic and then finally the last shade in the palette is called 143 and don't mind my finger it has mascara all over it so that one right there is 143 143 I find it to be a little bit more on the cooler side compared to glow getter and 143 is also a little bit darker so what I put on my cheekbones was daydream right here and glow getter and then I use 143 on the tip of my nose cupid's bow and on top of my brow bone so these colors as you can see here are very very pigmented this was literally one swipe in the palette one swipe on my arm and that's the intensity that it gave and I have absolutely no primer on my arm these colors are absolutely stunning and I definitely think that there is a color for every single person and this is such a beautiful palette I definitely think I am gonna be using this palette a lot more often than what I originally thought I would and I think it might even replace my sweets palette which is my absolute favorite 
highlighter palette of all time. The highlighters in there are some of my favorite highlighter shades of all time. And I definitely think that this highlighter palette is definitely going to be in strong competition with it. Just because every single color in here is so pretty. I almost want to just like take all the colors and just rub it all over my face from how pretty these colors are. I definitely love it and I definitely recommend that you pick it up. If you guys are interested in seeing this palette in action and learning how to recreate this look, then continue watching. So we're going to start off with the shade from ColourPop called Locked and Loaded and I'm going to take that and put that on my brow bone. And I'm kind of just setting the primer that I also put on underneath my eyebrows and I also already filled in my brows as well. Next I'm taking the shade called Wake Up Call. I'm sorry it's a little out of focus. But I'm taking that on a Morphe 545 brush, I think it's what it's called. I'll link it down below. I always forget what the name of this brush is called. But I'm just taking that and putting that in my crease just as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to take this shade here called Wait For It. And I'm going to go ahead and take that on a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to put that in the crease as well, but this brush is a little bit more dense, so it's going to make the color more concentrated at the same time still blending it out. And I also apply a little bit of it on the outer V area as you saw previously. And that's just to uh, prepare the eye for the rest of the makeup that's going to be applied on top. Next, I'm going to take this shade here called making moves and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M433 brush and I take it on the flat part of the brush and just apply that on my outer V and then I just kind of go back and forth and blend that in and then whatever's left over I'll apply into the crease. This is a new technique that I've been doing and I find that it's a lot quicker than taking that color on the tip of the brush and then putting it on the outer V. This just makes it blend in easier. Next, I'm taking the shade here called Stay Golden, also from ColourPop, and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M506 brush, and I'm just going to apply that on the lash line and a little bit on the outer V, and this is just to deepen up the color. Um, originally, I was going to keep it more on the peachier side, but then I added this color and it started looking more pink, so I just went with it. And then I'm going back in with that M433 brush and I'm just going to blend all the colors together and then also apply some into the crease. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. blending brush and just taking that lock and loaded shade again to blend everything out together. And then taking the first Morphe brush from earlier just to blend out the edges. Next I'm taking the Anastasia Times Nicole Guerrero palette and I'm going to use this shade here called Kitty Cat on a Morphe M224 brush and I'm just going to pack that onto the lid shade and I just wanted to really use this palette on different parts of my makeup not just my cheekbones just to show that you can use a highlighter palette for literally anything that you want and I really really love this shade a lot I really liked how it went with the rest of the colors so I just take that M433 brush again and just blend out the edges and make sure that it's blending in nicely Next, I'm taking the shade Forever Young on this crown brush, and I'm going to take that, and I usually don't do shimmers underneath my brow bone, but I decided to put a little bit just to make it pop some more and just to show you that you could use this as a brow bone highlight as well. And after this, I just put on my eyeliner and the rest of my makeup, and then we'll talk, go into the talk through part. So I'm going to go into the shade Daydream right here with this um, Real Technique setting brush I was gonna use fan brush but this shade is a little bit glittery and whenever I use a fan brush just glitter goes all over my face so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this oh god these things are so freaking pretty and then just to add a little bit more umph I'm gonna go into the shade glow getter so it's this middle shade here and I'm just going to layer that right on top. And as you notice, when I put on my highlighter, I don't pass this part. So it's like the middle part of my eye. 
kind of where the iris is. I don't try to pass that part because I have a lot of texture here. So I just try to make sure that it stays on this outer half right here. Then I'm going to go into the shade 143, which is a little bit darker than Glow Getter. I think Glow Gutter has a little bit more of a peachy undertone, and this one's more of a bronzy, golden color. I'm just going to highlight right above my eyebrows. And now I'm going to take a little bit of that 143 shade and just pop it on the center of my nose. Holy crap. <laughs> and on my cupid's bow. And it's a little bright on my cute on my nose. So I'm gonna take this NYX eyeliner and this is in the shade Lavender Shimmer. And I'm just gonna line my waterline with it. Next I'm gonna take my uh, Morphe M506 brush. Go into the shade Making Moves from ColourPop, and I'm just going to buff that underneath my lower lash line. So next, I'm going to use the shade Forever Lit. So it's that pretty iridescent blue color. I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight and this is gonna um, tie in that lavender that we put in the waterline and really make it pop. Then I am going to just put on some mascara really quick, pop on some lashes and then I will be back so that way I can finish the rest of my makeup. Alright, so now that my lashes are on, I use the Ardell Demi Wispies, which are some of my favorites. So I'm going to use some of the ColourPop Lippy Pencil or Lippy Stick Primer. And then I'm going to take Max Chestnut Lip Liner. And then I'm taking Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Allison. This is my first time trying any of the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks and I really like it. It's really comfortable, really nice, and it doesn't flake. So I'm just going to let that dry really quick and then um, I'll show you guys the finished look. Alrighty, so this is the finished look and I just wanted to do something just for fun. You guys don't have to do this step, um, but I'm just going to take some of the Daydream shade and I'm just going to take a really little bit of that and just put that on the center of the lips. So I just added a little bit of that shade onto the center of my lips just to add a little bit more fullness and just play with the palette a little more and really get the full effect out of it. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, look that I created using the Nicole Guerrero times Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, I really do love this palette and I definitely recommend it. If you guys are hesitant on this palette, I definitely say go ahead and pick it up while you can. This palette is very versatile. You can use it for multiple things. You don't only have to use it for your cheekbones. As you saw in this tutorial, I did use it for an eyelid shade, inner corner highlight. I used it as my brow bone highlight, cheek highlight, nose highlight. I put it on the center of my lips just to add a little more fullness. And you can honestly use these shades all over your body. Whether if you're pale or tan or deep dark, I definitely think that there will be a shade in here that will work perfect for your cheekbones. And then every other shade that's in there that doesn't work out for you, you can definitely use it for something else. Like the Forever Lit shade wouldn't work for me as a cheekbone highlight because of the pale base. But it definitely worked as an inner corner highlight and I honestly really love how this look came out. If you guys have any requests, please don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. I would love to know what you guys would like to see so that way I'm filming things that you guys are interested in. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.